it's summertime and I've almost always got this workshop fan going because it's hot. There's no air conditioning, the garage door is open, and I need it going to keep me cool in here. The problem is it's almost always in my way. It basically doesn't move from right here, but the disc sander is there. Sometimes it gets in the way when I'm using the grinder. So I've been trying to figure out the right way to deal with this. At first, I thought, um, I, I didn't, it's on a very rocky base. Uh, it's on a square base. I have a bunch of these tripods with, uh, with no plate that I picked up at a garage sale last year. Picked up for a dollar or one I got for free. And I thought maybe what I'll do is I'll just take the, the legs off of this and then put the legs on the fan and that'll make it a little bit more stable and a little bit smaller footprint. But I realized that that's not the way to go. It's, it's, it's going to be causing the same exact problem, which is that it's in my way on the floor. So then I thought maybe I should suspend it from the ceiling. But that seems to me like an overly complicated way of going about keeping this fan off the floor. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a swing arm that goes from the wall out here that's highly adjustable so that I can fold the fan away whenever I don't need it. But when I do need it, it'll actually come out to this position and keep me cool. Originally, I was thinking about using wood to build this swing arm because it would be nice and easy, but I realized that it would be very big and bulky, so then I thought maybe steel is the way to go. This is steel shelving that is from the staples that closed near me, and I went dumpster diving and picked it out, and I think that this is going to do just fine to make the assembly for the fan. So I doubled up on all the rivets on all the arms. I did put uh, three more in here because this is where the most stress is. It seems like it's working a lot better. It's more stable. I don't know if it'll take the weight of the fan, but at least, you know, it's extending.
Worst case scenario, I might have to weld these hinges, but it's looking good so far. So after the complete and utter failure of the metal version, I decided to just go as big as I needed to, build everything laterally with plywood. I figured that would be able to take the stresses of the fan being out, stretched out from the wall. The entire thing came out basically what I was hoping for, and it does fold up out of the way. So I can get to the disc sander and if I need to get to any of the wood and now it leaves this corner is now free I don't have to deal with the fan being in my way every single day so I am very happy with the build I learned a lot uh, from doing the steel version which was that steel is not as strong as I thought it is <laughs> maybe if I used square tubing it would have been better but I got that steel out of the dumpster you know, it was, it was made from a shelving unit and it was not meant for what I was using it for. So anyway, uh, I hope you liked the build. I did not show all of the woodworking. It's relatively simple. Um, all, you know, it's, it's just, you know, a, a telescoping. Or I don't know if it's a telescoping. I don't know what that kind of armature is called where it folds inside itself. But it's just two by two. That's all it is. So that should give you a better understanding. It's just two by two by two and it's not complicated at all. And I used uh, a bunch of screws on, on to mount it to the wall because I knew there was going to be a bunch of stress there. And um, I used three plates to sandwich everything together so I got as much lateral strength as I possibly could out of it. Thanks for watching and stay cool out there in all this heat.